projector to avoid Vietnam. Although he was now 30, Tom decided to train for the Army's decathlon team, the ultimate test of speed, strength, and stamina. He landed a slot on the U.S. Olympic team in Mexico City in 1968, set personal best records in several events. Teammate Bill Toomey, who won the gold, became a close friend and described Tom as the world's most eclectic person. I was down in the middle of that stadium and I thought my heart was going to burst. I was so overjoyed to be on that field. And I didn't win. I finished sixth in the decathlon in 1968. I didn't win, but I, I didn't feel that I had lost. I felt as though I had fulfilled a life dream. It didn't really depend on my performance. The fact is that I was there and I was doing it. And I thought, God, everyone should experience this. Tom moved to California as a graduate fellow at Stanford University. He was finally comfortable enough with his sexuality to develop committed relationships with other men though he also frequented bathhouses and experimented with recreational drugs. Tom once ran the VD clinic in, in town, which is how he came to know quite a lot of people, mm -hmm. and whether they were worth going home to bed with or whether, they, <laughs> whether you could pick up something from them. <laughs> he came out publicly in a series of newspaper stories, most notably when he and his lover Charles Deaton were featured in a 1976 article on couples in People magazine. He bought a huge house in the Mission District, which had a large concert hall where he could entertain on a grand scale and where he lived the rest of his life. I was designing a national sports program while I was working as a physician in Saudi Arabia. The attitudes and the ideas and the stereotypes that they held about gay people were really totally in inaccurate. The gay and lesbian community already had active bowling and softball leagues when Tom announced plans for the Gay Olympics in 1980. The following summer, he drove across the country to generate interest and recruit 